Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D 100% walkthrough. And this time, we are just going to go through uh, some secrets in Kakariko Village. There are five ghost controls as well as... Um, as well as... Uh, Secret Brodo to, to see. And then we're going to head to Death Mountain after getting the Adult Wallet, which is the price for getting 10 Gold Kulchulas in the House of Kulchula. So now we have Gold Kulchula... I don't even know if it's 7 or 8, to be honest, so... Gold Kulchula... Mine it's 8 somehow, but I guess it's 7 for you guys. Uh, I'm not even sure. I don't know what I'm going... I don't know why I'm going up there anyway, so... Next Gold Kulchula is behind the house of Skorchola, actually on the side, near Empa's house, which is right here. Okay. Now you should have your bottle equipped from uh, the cuckoo lady, so you need to take this rock, throw it, and then use uh, the bottle on the bugs. Now you can just put it back in your inventory and then head down and Roll into the tree, which is right, at the, which is at the entrance of Kakariko Village, where the boss of the carpenters was before. And inside is another ghost control. You can talk to the lone man here. People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting too. True. No, not true. So, next ghost control. For the next ghost control. You need to go up the stairs. And the ghost consola is up. It's on top of this lookout tower. So you just need to shoot down the ghost consola and then climb up the ladder. What a beautiful uh, purple sky. Let's check it out. Wow. Whoa. Uh oh. Ow. If you get hurt, it's okay. There are hearts here. Yay. That's a guard full of hearts again. And the last ghost control is behind one of the houses. The one right here in particular. Right, once you did that, all you want to do is now go to the house of Skorchula. Once in the house of Skorchula, you want to look to the left. Well, I mean to the right, I'm sorry. And to the right, there's a guy. And he's... The curse has been broken, and he gives you a reward for thanking uh, you. The adult's wallet. Now you can carry up to 200 rupees. How great is that? Before it was just 99. That sucked, didn't it? Once you get out of the house of school shot, you want to play the sun song to make it day again. Once you did that, you want to head to the cuckoo lady again. Don't talk to her, just take the cuckoo which is behind her. Now with that cuckoo in hand, you want to head back up to the windmill. Don't go inside, just jump off the ledge and head behind the fences. That's done. You want to just throw the cuckoo out of here. And you want to head into the secret grotto in this area. This would be Secret Grotto 3. In the Secret Grotto, there is a Gossip Stone, which tells you time. You can all, There are also bugs. You can play Zelda's Lullaby inside of the Secret... Well, this is not a really cool view, actually. Um, gossip Stone. Wow, glitches, glitches. Here. And it gives you a fairy after playing Zelda's Lullaby. You can get it in one of, in of the bottles. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this milk. I'm going to exchange it with the bottle. The bugs 
I'm going to drink the milk twice. And I'm going to get that fairy. I hope it Okay. Damn it! I used it! Oh, come on! Ugh. There are, there's also fishes. Uh, I mean, fish. Whatever. Uh, so, there's also a chest here that contains, I believe, 20 rupees. Yes. And with these 20 rupees, you can repay your, um... The time you got with, uh, Dampe. If you know what that means. In the last episode, we got the heart piece from Dampe. Well, the rupees you you gave to him for the heart piece, they're back. Now, that's all we have to do in Kakariko Village. So you just want to head back up the stairs to see the guard. Before I do that, I'm going to equip my... Uh, Zelda's letter and put it instead of the, the bottle Damn it, hell. and I'm going to go to the guard what does the sign say? death mountain no passage without a royal decree it's just too bad the road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Oh, I see. You're just a kid and you you can't read yet. Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah? Like that in your face? Oh, this is this is a surly Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, that let's see. Hmm. Okay. This is Link. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. Ha ha ha. What kind of funny game is our princess coming up with? Now, okay, okay, you're right. You can go now, just be careful, Mr. Eho. Ha 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 ha. By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell a shield you need there, although we already have one, which is in the graveyard. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. I'd like to ask you a favor for you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the Happy Mask shop that's just opened in Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone is talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So could you go and get the mask for me next time you are in the high in the market? If you don't feel like it, it's a that's okay, but... Well, I have no choice. This is my job. Sorry. We'll do the Happy Mask Shop side quest um, after getting the three spiritual stones. You'll see in later on. But anyways, here is Death Mountain. Trail. I guess. So, start off by hitting up with Tektites. Red Tektites. Yeah, there are also blue ones. Lock onto it with L-targeting and it jumps. Yep, boom. Okay. Sorry, my dad said something. Je finis l'épisode. You can see here there's a breakable wall, but... Boom. Check this out. In that breakable wall is a gold skull I will get later on. Ow. Jump. Okay, so here is another breakable wall. I guess it's there a cavern up there. There's a heart piece up there as well. Uh, I can't. I don't know if you can see that. The dongos. So there's a cavern. I am one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live in Death Mountain. Look at the look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to the Dongo's Cavern, which is once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many of the Dongo's suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gyudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance in that boulder. If you want to hear more Goron gossip, head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. I don't, it won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. 
Okay, so we're going to end the episode after be being in Goron City, and then we'll do everything in Goron City in the next episode. So, here, another Goron. Hello. They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Did you hear what... Do you want to see her? Really? Let's just see something. That sure is high up. Thank you, Navi, for, uh, well, no. So, if you follow the trail along the edge of the cliff, you will reach Goron City, home of the Gorons. So, we need to go up there. However, first of all, if you're out of health, somehow, play the sun song near the flag here. There's Navi going to turn orange in this area, I think. Play a sun song, and a fairy will appear. Yay. And it will bring back... Oh, whoa! That was close. There's another breakable wall here, but it's not really useful at all, even when you become, uh, even in later on. You'll, you'll see after. Here, there's a, also a secret grotto, but you can't access it right now. We'll access it later on in the game. A great way to get rupees is by doing that. <laughs> so easy. All right, Goron City. Goron City, home of the Gorons. You know what? We're going to do Goron City as well. We are going to stop the episode whenever I want to. Goron City. This is Goron, I have to say. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food cortege in this town. We are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. The most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in the Dongo's Cavern. But that seems like an ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. Sai, I want to eat the top sirloin rocks from the Dongo's Cavern. So, the Dongo's Cavern seems to be the problem. Hey! It's dangerous for a little kid like you to come out here. You might fall down, true? Anyway, is there something you want? Ask Big Brother about complicated things. If he's in a bad mood, he'll probably get mad at you. It can be scary. It can be pretty scary, but I know his secret. He may not look like the type, but his brother loves to dance. If he gets with the rhythm, he's surely. I remember Big Brother used to always listen to the music that comes from the forest. Ah, yes, the good old days. The music makes me feel nostalgic, too. If all the torches around here will be lit, Goron City will really liven up. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we will stop the episode here. We were going, we will continue Goron City uh, in the next episode. Okay, so all you have to do next is just go down to the lower level, and yeah, see you next time.